Well, good morning to you, and how are you doing today? Today is a good day. Well, we'll see, eh? Where I've got a new camera. So I've got the DJI Osmo Action 4 thingy that everybody else seems to uh, be enjoying. My GoPros have totally failed me. Uh, so I want to try the DJI one. Uh, I'm not going to do or make a massive deal out of it because there's already a million videos on the DJI Action 4. Uh, so yeah, just thought I'd let you know that I've got a new camera and I'm trying it out. I'm trying out the uh, wireless mic one with it, which already, unfortunately, is literally sitting inside my mouth in the helmet. So I don't know how this audio is going to come out, but today is the test. And to test it, we're just going to pop down the... Uh, there's actually a new cafe opened down in Bridge North. Uh, I think it's called uh, Ride and Joy. It used to be the Danery before you get to the food stuff. So we're going to go down and try that out. Uh, so it's me and Scott and Simon today. Voice deep boy. Uh, the rest of the guys are all doing other things. And I've got stuff to do this afternoon, so it can't be out all day, unfortunately. But um, yeah, let's try this new camera out. That's literally what today was for. Exciting stuff, eh? So hopefully I'll be getting more battery life, uh, which will be epic. Also, the quick release function is fantastic on it. You, know, you can just pop it on, pop it off really easily. There's a boot sale going on here, it's crazy. And it's got the wireless mic. Um, I've got it in the wrong place though. I'm going to have to sort that out. And I've got no muff on it, so it might be all, you know, catching my breath as I speak through it with noise. It must be a nightmare. I'll keep it talking so I can try it when I get home, when I'm editing. Okay, so let's get down to the calf and uh, let's see how this camera gets on, shall we? Right, Si. You're on the new camera. Look, you're the first. <laughs> The first celebrity guest on my new camera. This uh, mic one doesn't taste very nice, I can tell you that. Da, 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 da. It was two coppers on motorbikes and uh, it, police bikes in America. You know the map. You know the real big ones. They used to ride side by side all the time down the freeways. <laughs> so when it, whenever you hear us say chips, you know when you're next to someone, <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, I used to watch when when the eight, um, when Airwolf was on. Terror Hawks was on the other side. So I, so I used to watch Terror Hawks. <laughs> oh my god, they've put some peggy patches in the ground.
<laughs> That's not an indicator. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> or wave your right one. <laughs> Rock and roll. Yeah, my my KTM detectors on. <laughs> Warning: moist decoy may appear closer than he is. I should give him um, a wet rag so he can clean me lights and stuff as he's coming. You know. <laughs> I'm waiting for Scott's number plate to hit me in the face. Oh, it's when it's still the Danery, but it says Wednesday's bike night. Yeah, yeah, it's Wednesdays, <laughs> except October. <laughs> Sweet, my dear old mate. What my favourite bin? I love this bin. <laughs> you got you, you got your brake on. <laughs> your hill your hill assist. <laughs> it's not really assisting you at the minute. <laughs> the hill de assist brake. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a brew. that run on the fush bike. What I'd run? High five mate. <laughs> well I don't know how this camera's getting on and the audio. Uh, we should have got a muff and stuck it on the top now. But um, yeah I'm looking forward to editing this one to see what it comes out like. It's a big expense isn't it buying something like this and I, I treasure the things I buy. So I research them a lot first because I don't want to have to keep buying stuff. Um, them two GoPro Hero 7s that I've been using I've been using them for three years uh, since I started riding again so they've done me well you know they've been out in rain and all kinds of weather uh, without the side doors on so yeah they've probably failed because of the stuff that I've done with them uh, but um, these these cameras are that expensive now, aren't they? This DJI it was a really expensive camera, and then of course you've got the audio to sort out, which is you know it's double the price again. But if it works, then it's something that I'll keep for a long time. So uh, we will see, eh? We will see. We're going a different way home. Look, exciting stuff. It's a nice road, isn't it? Here they all come. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you forced that one out of him. <laughs>
See you later, Si. Watch out you go, mate. It's all right, mate. Hi, driver. We're in the park. Sweet. Right then. Let's get home. Let's get this footage downloaded and the audio downloaded and I'll give you my verdict on the DJI Osmo Action 4 and the Mic 1 is the one I've got at the minute. I borrowed it off Moist Decoy to see if it works. So hello and welcome into my humble abode. Uh, thanks very much for sticking around this long. Um, I was just going to do a quick review on this, but I think I've um, got a little bit of information for you. Um, that you might want to hear if you're thinking about one, wanting to buy one of these uh, action cameras. So I've been a GoPro guy for three or four years. They've been great cameras. I've loved the quality of them. But unfortunately, like I've said in the video, I've pretty much destroyed them, been out in all weathers with the doors off, etc. And, and they've, they've pretty much had it now. So I've gone for one of these DJI models. And the reason, one of the reasons for that is because GoPros, uh, the issues that GoPro have got at the moment look pretty horrendous with, you know, build quality and reliability and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I've shifted away from GoPro. Mine keep turning off randomly. The um, They've actually been doing that for quite a while and missing audio, missing video, frozen video, all the usual problems you get with GoPro. So I thought I'd try one of these DJIs. Um, now, before I give you this verdict, bear in mind that I'm not a millionaire. These things cost a lot of money. I've paid a lot, a lot of money for this, this uh, video camera. So I'm expecting good things out of it. And for the most part, it's pretty good. I never believe what manufacturers say, though. Proof is always in the pudding for me. Uh, I never believe the hype. Uh, so, I, you know, I look at other people's results, etc., before I bought it. And, it, you know, the results on, on YouTube in 4K, they look pretty good. So I thought, OK, well, what's the only alternative to a GoPro is this. So um, I have bought this. So I did want to show you a little something. I've set up a little experiment here. Moist Decoy will attest to this so uh, and back me up here. When I left on this video, when I started recording on this video on the DJI, um, I put it into total normal mode. I didn't mess with any settings. I put it in 4K, 16 by 9, um, it, just, just normal basic settings. And the field of view, I didn't put it in wide or super wide or anything like that. I left it in the default setting, which is normal, which is de-warp. So in my brain, I'm thinking because of this amazing lens that they say is on this camera, if I put it in D-warp, I won't get any fishbowl effects whatsoever. So I've run this little experiment here and I've, I've captured a few um, frames and a little bit of a comparison for you. So have a look at this. You tell me if I'm going mad. So got my glasses out. So it must be serious. So this is part of the video that I did that you've just watched. And this is the gorgeous Scott talking to my helmet cam or talking to me with my helmet cam on. And I just want to show you what I've noticed. This is on de-warp normal mode, right? I wouldn't expect to see any fish bowling whatsoever on this. Uh, so if you just look at the edges of the screen to the left and to the right, but mainly to the left, if you look at Scott's gorgeous head and look how much it's warped out of shape as I come in here, the only time, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, because I've paid a lot of money for this, the only time that image looks correct is when Scott is dead centre. That's it. So anything other than that, and it goes mad fish bowly, uh, mad to my eyes anyway. You're going to say things like, oh, well, you don't notice that when, you know, there's fast moving stuff going past, etc., etc." And, you, you know, you're probably right. But what it means is the peripheral of the lens or, or on the footage that you capture is out of shape. But also it's blurry. It's blurred in, in, um, in most of the video that I've taken. So I've done a little bit of a, an experiment if I just pop that on I would say 
from those red bands inwards you get an acceptable image it's not too bad it does look a bit weird but not too bad but anything outside of them red lines i didn't capture any more after that fortunately goes really fishbowly and for something that's supposed to be good at capturing 4k video and you know i'm I'm assuming I think they've said that this lens is the best lens and it's better than the rest and it's bigger and blah 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 uh, I'm not happy with that at all are you uh, would you be happy with that or are you happy with that so if you've got this on the pole and you're doing your handheld stuff and you've got it pointed at your face like I am now th that's not acceptable is it I, I mean hopefully you're getting the same effect here as I'm coming on and off screen um, but yeah that didn't fill me with joy when i saw this it was weird i was editing this video and i thought it looks what's going on there's uh, I, you know i had it i didn't have it on the wide setting and so i was thinking what's going on so that's what i've noticed with the video quality the quality is great it's you know in the middle there it's really sharp um there's no sharpening on this at all it's just like i said just in default i've done nothing in post and yeah that's a bit strange compare that to the gopro hero 7 right so this is the beautiful ste um rejected for being a catalog model for little woods um, purely down to his size uh, and only for that the rest of him was okay um but the beautiful ste here you can see steve's right on the edge of the image here this camera is set up the exact same way uh 4k you know blah 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 um but this camera is set in the wide setting the gopro so the gopro in wide has no well minuscule uh barn door or or fish bowling effect whatever you call it um on the edge of the the image so you do notice it a little bit but i accept that because it's in the wide setting but if you look at steve's face there his beautiful little face it's still it's still fine even when you get right to the edge of the screen it's sharp it's in focus uh not blurry at all and it's not warped at all not at all and you get great stills from the gopro so you know if i'm walking through trees or walking through the park or if i'm talking to somebody and they're sort of on the side you can still see the person perfectly so scratch that back to the the DJI and it's it's not good not good at all I'm really sorry to say it but it's not good at all and it's both sides obviously as well um now I don't know whether the wide setting or the super wide setting will change that I can only imagine it's going to make it worse to be honest but it's literally like I filmed that in a bowl I can see it going around in the background um unfortunately for me i'm stuck with this now like i say i can't go out buying new stuff every day uh, so this is it um, and i'm going to be using this from now on i suppose i could zoom in a little bit to cut the edges off but then you're doing a digital zoom and that wouldn't look good at all um so i'm going to say for the most part the features on the camera are great you know the, the weight clips onto the um, chin mount and onto this uh you know hand mount etc everything else they say about the camera is brilliant and it's got loads of great features but the one thing that a camera needs to do is take good images and video that's its selling point and i've got to say i'm not 100 percent happy with that that's pretty bad isn't it i'm not making this up that's a pretty bad showing from dji uh everybody else says these are the dog's bees and they're fantastic i'm real i i say things as i find them and i'm not happy with that at all uh like i said i'll try it in the wide setting and the super wide but i can only imagine it gets worse we look at simon there coming into shot not not looking good at all and i've noticed on the flybys as well uh, and this is 50 frames per second when i'm flying by going past shops and stuff things are looking extremely blurred in the peripheral vision of the lens so it's as if it's just concentrating on the very middle um but 
that's my verdict on the DJI. I could go into a load more detail on the settings and that, but that's been done to death, as it hasn't it? I haven't seen anybody online who's actually come on and said there's a problem there with fish bowling effect. I didn't think there would be with this camera, but it looks like there is. But like I say, I'll conduct further experiments and I'll, I'll uh, report back with my findings. Um, the mic one though. Uh, I've got the DJI mic, I borrowed it off um, Moist Decoy just to try it out. Uh, I'm using it right now, you know, to talk. I think it's brilliant and I'm going to be attaching a um, just a, a, a purple panda mic to it. I've found that that works really well with the mic and storing this away somewhere. So uh, I'm not going to be forking out even more money for the Mic 2, which is again the same cost as the bloody camera. So you're looking at six, seven hundred pounds for a camera and mic. And when you're paying that sort of money, it needs to be damn good at what they say it does. And that is not, what's the camera, 370 odd quid, something like that. That ain't 370 odd quids worth of camera to me. But that's just me. Okay, uh, so yeah, I do babble on a bit. Sorry, but I'll try and give you as much information as I can. Um, I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video. I've actually hit the thousand subscriber milestone, which is a huge hurdle. Uh, so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. If you're already a sub, thanks very much for supporting me and staying subbed. And if you're new to the channel, be great if you'd stick around and subscribe and maybe even give this video a little thumbs up. If you think I'm totally wrong and I've got the settings wrong on the camera or I'm doing something wrong, I pray that's the case, then please help me out and please tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong. Um, but as it stands right now, that to me is not good. All right. Thanks very much for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next video as long as I'm in the very middle of the screen on the shot. All right, see you in a bit. Bye-bye.